Uh, I got to say, the night of Girls, uh, Star Wars, Rogue One, uh, you're the most uh, famous human being now on Earth. Do, do, do you get recognized everywhere? Do people come up to you and stop yeah, you on the street? You know, it's a weird thing because a lot of this happened really quickly. So people recognize me a lot, but they don't know what they recognize me from. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So they'll kind of, people will just stare at me and point and be like, <laughs> nah, nah, and never. then they'll come up to me and go, dude, do I know you from somewhere? And um, if they really don't know, then you can actually have quite a lot of fun with that. <laughs> you just be like, yeah, we went to high school together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A good one is like, I used to date your sister. How's she doing? <laughs> How's she married now? What's going on with that? <laughs> That's pretty good. And where's, it get the wor where's the worst where you get busted, where you get recognized? Um, I mean, it's never terrible getting recognized, but sometimes it's super awkward. Like, okay, I get, um, I get randomly selected for secondary searches every time I fly to America. <laughs> I'm glad you find it funny. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Cheers. Um, well, I mean, look, you know, it's, it's racial profiling. It's always a waste of time. It's a waste of money. It kind of alienates people, but it's also super awkward. It's like um, people will be, like, sw swiping me for explosives making sure it's safe to let me on the plane. And at the end of the search, they'll be like, dude, I love Rogue One, can I have a selfie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You were just in my business, yeah. yeah. So, you, yeah. so but the thing that I think is like, if I say no to that selfie, will they let me on the plane? <laughs> they've, got, they've got a lot of power then, but I don't know, it's weird. It's like, if you know who I am, why, I don't know. Yeah, the time. you met, recently met, uh, this is called the Ahmed Three. Uh, <laughs> and just explain, <laughs> what is this? Okay, so like I said, I always get pulled aside for secondary searches. Mm -hmm. I think it was at like Minneapolis airport or something. They said, Mr. Ahmed for a secondary search. So all three of us went up. <laughs> 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 oh my and, goodness. And three Ahmed. The staff didn't know who to search. I mean, Ahmed's a very common surname. So the, the staff didn't know who to search. They just searched all of us. And we were like, yo, this is more sociable than it normally is. And we were all like, <laughs> Hanging out, yeah, we were yeah, like, fun with it. Yeah, we were like swapping stories, like, yo, you gotta stay away from Miami airport's the worst, and just like <laughs> talking. And so I thought, let me just take a little selfie. And I did this little Facebook post. I said, yeah. um, we're gonna start a boy band. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> Starting a boy band called, yeah. And a weird thing happened is that it became like a meme, and people started drawing fan art about this fake boy band called the Ahmed Three. <laughs> and it's a fake band. It, it, well, right now, but if these guys are watching, <laughs> If you guys are watching, call me, because yeah. I haven't seen you. Let's make this work, yeah. Yeah, the first uh, single they said should be called uh, Randomly Searching For You. Which <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think it's a beautiful good. song. Randomly Searching For You, that's like, ah. That's like a wedding song, it's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> hey, uh, you gotta be proud of this. You're on the cover of Time Magazine, my friend. <laughs> the 100 Most Influential People. I mean, how surreal is that? Is that That's cool? That's still surreal. Like, is this real? I don't know. No, yeah, it's don't not. Know. Yeah, that, okay. we made, made this you in Times did. Square. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> anyone can do it. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the 100 most influential people, and they picked like yeah. five people to be on the cover, and you're one of the five people. Yeah, I, I owe someone at Time Magazine a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of money. That's it's it's gotta... weird. I don't know. Look, I, it feels really nice for me, obviously personally, but. The thing that I always think of is growing up, I often didn't see people like me in the culture. And when you don't see yourself reflected back like that, it kind of sends a message to you that you don't matter or your story doesn't matter. So hopefully there might be some kids out there that see this and think, you know, wow, I could, I could maybe do that as well. Yeah. You know?